So guys, today I'm headed to my first ever vintage event. I'm actually going there to meet up with the homie Paul because he has a pair of the Travis Scott One Low fragments. I haven't seen these in person and I really, really want to see them in person and show you guys a look at them. So we're going to go check them out. But yeah, let's see. Maybe we'll buy something from the vintage fair too. I don't know. But yeah, man, let's go have a good time. Have a good day. I don't even know where to look. Like, how do, how do you vintage shop? Just look whatever you into. Whatever's like nostalgic for you. That's a great start. Sports. That's crazy. Yeah, this is on a Bay Club 2XL. It's probably like a $700 t shirt. $700 for a used t shirt? Yeah. It's crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, bro. Wow. Nostalgic. Not the LeBron one, right? Not the LeBron one. The, the good one. The good one. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> look at my guy, Kobe, with the Kobe. Adidas, the old the school. Spaceship the spaceship $8. joints, yo. Damn, you bring your own tape measure? Dude, gotta come prepared. What man. an expert, bro. <laughs> bro, what the hell? I had this shirt when I was like in middle school. That is so crazy. All right, so my guy Paul is going to take him off of his feet because yep. he's wearing them. You know what I'm saying? Anything for, for the culture. Hey, I rarely get flexed on, but today <laughs> he flexed on me. But we're going to sit down and just check him out while we're at the, at the vintage <laughs> event. Let's check these bad boys out. So I've seen the highs. I haven't seen the lows. What do you think? You, you've seen the highs as well. Mm -hmm. Which one do you like more? I'm kind of leaning towards the lows for this pair. Yes. Right? Yes. I don't know what Welcome it is. Welcome to the dark side, my friend. That cream swoosh is, it camera doesn't do it justice, but like the cream swoosh, the stamp of approval. And I'm, that one I'm has I'm so a, embarrassed because like, they're really warm. My feet get really hot. Oh no, you're good, so you're good. He's been, that. he's been wearing them, which is what you're supposed to do, yes. man. It's what you're supposed to do, but uh, pretty crazy, dude. Like mm -hmm. the Cactus Jack logo on one side. It's crazy, right? And then the fragment, like who would have thought? Like this is something that like fake factories mock up. Yeah, just a few things that stuck out to me right initially is uh, the smooth leather that they use. I feel like it's really great quality and because this is so tumbled, you guys can see, we I'd probably add some B-roll to this yeah. if you wanted to. It's so tumbled, it's like extra tumbled, which gives it like a level of dimension. Yeah. That's what I kept saying uh, on my channel is that it just really pops out a little bit more. Yeah, fragment logo right there on that tongue and then this one is the Cactus Jack logo right there yeah i think these are going to be a heavy hitter maybe a lot of people are going to like the highs but i feel like a lot of people are are going towards the lows because of the color blocking on the highs they yeah. don't like that white toe yes and people like this because it's more of the traditional fragment one with the travis bro it's like two great shoes had a baby Fags, exactly it's like it's like a low version of the 2014 uh, yeah. frags so i couldn't agree with you more i i personally do uh, do you prefer the lows more yeah. uh, that's not to say i don't like the highs per se but the fact that it's like a black toe um i love the details of like the wax laces oh yeah i, I was gonna like... ask did you put those on and it no, came with it yeah they came with it There's yeah like wax so. laces on there if you guys could see like and even with the brown pair i don't know if you've had both of them but mm -hmm. i've I wear the low 10 times more than I wear That's the high. Facts, yeah. And just because it's just like an easy, easy throw it on, you don't have to sit there, lace it up. Like obviously I'm being lazy, but it's just, <laughs> I feel like it's more wearable. You yeah, know that's what I mean? facts. I couldn't agree more, bro. Like, so funny because I sound so hypocritical. There's a time where I was like, I'll never wear anything but highs. Like, I don't know if you've ever been through that phase. <laughs> no, I've, I've always been into the lows. Mids, okay. not so much. But the, the lows, I've like, if you go back to my like 2015 vlogs, mm -hmm. when I first moved to LA, I had red royal shadow lows and I got them all for retail and like, they were just easy to get. Yeah, people were sleeping, I, I'm myself included. Yeah, so. and now it's just become a thing where it's like lows are, are cool so thank yeah, you TikTok. <laughs> Tick, no that's the mids mids are cool because of TikTok. but yeah. can yeah. i ask you something i know yeah. you have the diors how yeah. how i like, had them i sold my highs oh, okay um how's the the smooth leather leather uh relative to the diors i know obviously they have to be turned down quite a bit because it's way yeah. cheaper shoe i really love what they did with the we're with on the a smooth. wobbly ass table too but, <laughs> um so mina still has her diors which is the low ones too mm. that leather is good but like you know how designer leather is mm. it's stiff until it like really breaks, breaks in yeah. like if i were to have them next to each other i would say that this is better but I haven't, take, seen, guys. Yeah, I haven't seen the Dior really broken in. Like, mm -hmm. Mina's wore them once, and it's just like, like you know how the LV bag or Dior bag is like, it's good leather, but it's like thick 
designer Italy quality leather. Yeah. This is like good it's leather. Be broken, this man. is good leather for a Jordan one. Yeah. I mean, I did a video on this a while ago, but the originals, like, I felt like the quality control wasn't the best. And I feel like, all right, we gotta pick it up, yeah. especially because it's Hiroshi. Like, it's yeah. it's a fragment thing. Like, I honestly think it's more because of Travis, because Travis is an actual sneakerhead. So mm -hmm. he's like, and his team, sense. like Chase B, they're like sneakerheads, so they know. And mm -hmm. you've seen that on like the friends and family pairs, like the suede. Yeah, very even, true. Yeah, so it's. I feel like it was more. Travis because fragment dunks are ass quality the new ones that oh came my God. out that's such yeah, that's fast. So that makes okay. you think that I stand it's corrected it's because of Travis not because of fragment I'm, in my I'm, I'm just gonna stick to vintage <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about <laughs> but yeah man definitely a cop from you when they come out but uh we'll let you put these back on your oh, feet thank for you now. sir uh, you're getting cold but in this uh 80 degree weather and uh comment section let us know if uh this is a cop or you like the highs and also Go check out my guy's channel if you're into that. vintage you. or you just want some good content. We'll leave the link down below. And, Thank you guys, uh, I appreciate that. We're going to do a lot more uh, linking up soon. It'll be so. my pleasure, man. So I'm going to take this one home. You can keep going. You're going to cut off half your foot too, <laughs> Don't got no heart, I got an icebox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brand new rollin', swipe out the G-Shock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moving slowly, I know the street hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No more double, go ahead and detox. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're looking at crowd, bro. Damn, we got a little Rey Mysterio action in the building. That's hard, bro. Nutmeg? Nutmeg, yeah. What is a nutmeg? What is a tag? What is a nutmeg? Okay. All right, guys. So I think I found something that I kind of want to get right here. He's asking for a hundred dollars. Yo, a hundred dollars for this. I need you guys' help. Is that worth it? It's not bad at all. Hey, let's let's do a little uh, me I, I let's do a little measuring. First, you gotta first. smell it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You gotta smell the pits first. Smell the pits first. <laughs> smell the pits first. <laughs> This might be Kaiser's first vintage piece, bro. Right? History yeah. to make it right here. <laughs> what you think? I'm at the 100. I think 100 is just a little bit steep, just single sided. Yeah. You're right about that. But if you're, if you're serious about the 90, let's do it. You wanna do 90? Yeah. You go with 90? We could do 90. Should we flip a coin, 80 and 90? Let's flip a coin. Um, if you wanna do the coin toss, let's do it then. Let's do it. You call it, you call it, yeah. All right, 80, 90, let's do it, let's do it. It's a showdown. It's a show, you have to call it. Want me to film right, you? I'll call it, I'll, I'll call, call it. You. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna call it. Heads? Heads is uh, 80. 80. Tails is 90. Tails is 90. All right, here we go. A little suspense here. here. Let's go! Let's go, baby! Let's go! Don't go! Let's go! Hey, respect, good game. Respect, respect. GG. Okay. There we go, there we go. Hey, I came vintage shopping with the right people. <laughs> the thrifting underscore Sifton. Without the G, thrifting underscore Sifton. Oh, wait, wait, first, wait, first purchase. It's overheating, overheating. Overheating. Do you guys think it would be too cliche if I wore my South Beaches to the Miami Sneaker Convention August 7th? Let me know. You think I should wear these or not? Speaking of August 7th Miami Sneaker Convention, I'm hosting, so I will be there. So make sure you guys pull up. I'm gonna be at the Sneaker Knockers booth and I'll be on stage and I'll be walking around having a good time. Pull up. Anyway, if you guys actually want to check out the Sneaker Knockers and what they have to offer with their service, you guys should sign up for their Discord. The link is going to be down below and let me explain to you guys what they do. I know they're mainly known for like getting early pairs and posting them online before anyone, but they actually have monitors that are running 24 hours, which basically navigates all the restocks on like all the websites so that you can cop sneakers for retail. People always ask me, Kais, how do you cop shoes for retail? And Sneaker Knockers is one of those services that makes it easier and just it helps you get the W. On top of that, they also give you just advice on how to hit, how to get sneakers, where to sign up for raffles, like all the information. So you don't need to go browsing and finding out and asking people. It's all on Sneaker Knockers' Discord. And if for some reason, maybe you're working, you slept in and you just couldn't, you know, cop the shoe on your own, they have their own botters that help you cop it. So make sure you guys check out Sneaker Knockers. Like I said, I'll leave the link down below for them. I'll be at the event with them. And, uh, oh, don't forget about the giveaway. Hold on. Let me go get the shoes. The twos, we're giving away the off-white twos early before anyone else on my Instagram. Me and Sneaker Knockers with the Miami Sneaker Convention. All you gotta do is go to that post right there on my account. I'll also leave the link for that down below and you could win these for free. The cool thing is that you don't need to be at the event to enter, like anyone can enter, but we're gonna announce the winner live at the event on stage on my Instagram live. So somebody will be live streaming from my phone, from my Instagram account, and we're gonna announce the winner in front of everyone. So yeah, if you wanna win these, go into the raffle, and if you're looking to cop some shoes for retail, go check out the Sneaker Knockers Discord. And uh, I'm patiently waiting for my personal pair of these, but uh, yeah, I'm giving these ones away, so.
They're not mine. Don't got no heart, I got an icebox. Brand new Rolex, swipe out the G-Shock. Moving slowly, I know the street hype. 